So today I'm gonna to go through a whole bunch of really common types of microphones that you might use as a YouTuber or video content creator to help you figure out what type of mic might work best for you and your budget. Having good quality audio is hugely important and the saying goes that people will put up with bad quality video but they just won't put up with bad quality audio. So making sure you've got the right mic is essential. So we're gonna go through six different types of microphones and these are all really accessible for the average content creator. They're all quite affordable. So for each mic, I'm just gonna go through the pros and cons and then who it might work best for or the use case that it might work best in. And then at the very end, I'll share what I personally use most regularly as a content creator and what works best for me. So first of all, let's move this mic aside and talk a bit about the microphone on your camera. So if you're creating content, you're likely using some sort of mirrorless camera or DSLR and these cameras generally have an inbuilt microphone and this is what the microphone sounds like directly on my camera. Now in terms of the pros of using the microphone just on your camera, it's obviously super accessible because if you've got a camera, then you've got a microphone. The cons with using the microphone on your camera is that it's low quality. You get a lot of background noise. So for example, you probably hear a lot of echo from my office. And especially if you're sitting back from the camera a bit like I am, you probably have to turn the inbuilt gain up inside the camera and this often produces a bit of a background hiss which is just not nice. I probably wouldn't recommend an inbuilt camera mic for anyone really just because it's not really designed for high quality audio. All right so next up let's talk about a phone microphone that's inbuilt into your phone. Now everyone's got a smartphone these days as you can tell the audio quality with this iPhone 11 is actually not bad and it's really accessible. Like I said everyone's got a smartphone so if you've got a smartphone you've got an external microphone that's separate to your camera mic. Now there's kind of a couple of cons to using your phone as a microphone the first is that it's really obvious I mean you can I've got the screen facing the camera but I can turn it around it's still kind of obvious that I'm holding up my phone for the audio kind of doesn't look super professional and the other downside is that you have to sync the audio file from your phone to the video footage that comes from your camera. It's just kind of one extra step. It's not a huge deal, but something worth considering. So who's this best for? I'd say if you only have an inbuilt camera mic, this is probably the next step up just because the quality is a lot better. So if you're kind of just starting out in content creation and you don't want to invest in an actual microphone just yet, then definitely I think using your phone is a great option. So while we're on the topic of phones, another option is AirPods or any sort of wireless buds that go in your ears that you connect to your phone. Now, in terms of the pros for AirPods, they're, again, quite accessible. A lot of people have AirPods or wireless earbuds. But in terms of the cons, you can probably tell the audio quality is pretty trash. I mean, these are an older pair of AirPods, but still, even compared to the microphone on the iPhone itself, these are definitely lower quality. You're also wearing AirPods in the video, which may or may not look that professional, depending on the type of video that you're filming. So who would AirPods be best for in terms of using it as a microphone? I probably wouldn't recommend airpods for anyone really just because the quality really isn't there all right so next up let's talk a bit about shotgun mics and specifically i'm talking about shotgun mics that just sit on top of your camera like the rode video mic pro which is what i've got the shotgun mics are generally much better quality than inbuilt camera mics and they're better at rejecting background noise because they're really directional and there's also no mic visible in shot which i think is nice it's nice not having any extra clutter in your video depending on the type of video that you're shooting now there's a couple of cons with on camera shotgun mics. The first is that you kind of have to be directly in front of your camera because if you step outside of the camera, it tends to lose your voice a little bit just because they're so directional. So if you do move around a lot in your videos, then shotgun mics maybe aren't quite the best option. So you have to be quite front and center in order to make sure it picks up your voice clearly. So who would a shotgun mic be best for? I think, I think probably it's a great option in general. I mean, I use this shotgun mic for the first probably year and a half to two years of my time on YouTube. It's good if you shoot videos like I do where I'm just sort of sitting in one seat in the one location, I'm not moving around a lot. Although it's also a good option if you're doing vlog style videos where you're holding the camera out in front of you, because again, it's directional, it rejects a lot of background noise. So if you do do vlog style videos, then a shotgun mic is probably a good option for you. So next on the list is wireless lapel mics. And these are sort of clip on little mics you can put on your shirt or on a jacket. And as you can probably notice, the audio quality on these are pretty decent. 
We've also got the advantage of often you can clip the receiver of these little wireless packs onto your camera, which records directly into the camera. So there's no syncing needed in post. It all just gets recorded to the one video file. Similar to AirPods, because it's clipped to you, you're gonna get pretty consistent sound. No matter where you move around in your room, if you turn away from the camera or if you move around the place, you're gonna get pretty consistent results, which again, depending on the type of video you shoot, that could be something that is really valuable to you. This is the Kamika Vimo C and it's really easy to use. Literally just pop it out of its case, plug it into the camera and you're good to record. The downsides of these types of mics is again, they're visible in shot, so that may not be something that you're going for. But that's probably the biggest downside to a lapel mic like this. So who's this best for? I'd say it's a great option in general, honestly. If you don't mind having the mic in shot and sort of clipped onto your collar or jacket, then it's a pretty good option just because you get that consistent audio level, which means you don't have to worry about it in post. And also I'd say it's good for videos where you are gonna be moving around a lot. A clip on lapel mic would be great for that type of thing. All right, so last but not least, let's talk about this podcasting mic. The good thing about podcasting mics is that the audio quality is really high, especially compared to other types of microphones that might be a comparable cost also really great at cancelling out background noise because they're really directional and their pickup pattern is quite close so you have to have it close to your mouth for example there's often construction noise out next to my building that my shotgun mic used to pick up all the time and it was really frustrating because i have to wait for the construction to stop before i could record a video but with this podcasting mic I can just record even while there's construction noise because it doesn't really pick it up. Now the downsides to podcasting mics is that it's usually visible in shot because you have to have it close to your mouth. And this might not be kind of the vibe you're going for. I actually don't mind it. I think I still prefer having no mic in shot, but for the quality, I'm definitely happy to have it in shot for me. And you also will have to record the audio from this microphone generally separately to your camera. So you have to sync the video and the audio in post, which is just kind of one extra step. So who's podcasting mics best for? I'd say if you're sitting in a studio or office like myself and you're kind of recording, just talking straight to camera, then it's a really good option because it'll probably give you the best quality audio of all the different mics that we've talked about today. It's obviously not gonna be much help if you're moving around a lot, but if you are just sitting in one place and this is probably in terms of quality, the best option. So what do I personally use? Obviously I use this podcasting mic for the majority of the time in my YouTube videos, but then I do actually use the shotgun mic from time to time if I'm out and about and I just wanna capture some speaking audio. And I also do like the lapel mics if I'm out and about and I just want consistent audio. So what's the best microphone for you? I would say ultimately it all kind of depends on your use case as well as your budget. The most expensive mic out of all of these, I think would be this podcasting mic. I think it's around $250, maybe $300. So it's not outrageously expensive, but generally my advice would probably be just try and get the best quality microphone that you can within your budget. Because like I said earlier, having good quality audio always trumps having good quality video. So let me know what type of mic do you use? And if you are a content creator and you wanna to learn to edit faster, then check out this video where I talk about five different ways you can edit faster. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.